Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel once again. Today I'm going to be doing tips and knots. Okay guys, I'm going to be doing the common snell. I'm going to be using a normal big hook and Dacron just as uh, display purposes, just easy to work with. Very simply, what we're gonna do, take your Dacron, go through the eye, and give yourself quite a bit to work with when you're doing this. You make a loop, basically, that goes like that. So can everybody see that? It's as simple as that, so that's all you're doing. Tag end and loop, and then you're gonna take your, your uh, loop part and you're just gonna keep on wrapping it around as many times as you require. So if you wanna do it six times, you're gonna wrap around six times. So there we go, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm just gonna leave it at five here. Take your tear again part of it, start pulling tight. And there we go. There is your snell done. It's as quick and simple as that. Cut off the tag end. There we go. Common snell. It's no rocket science to that one. It's as simple as it gets. Okay guys, I've just done the common snell. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it. It's a lot quicker, a lot faster for me. And I pretty much don't even have to look how I do it. So, most important part is to take your whether it's be wire, dacron, or nylon. Through the bottom, through the eye, in other words, the bottom part where the hook is pointing, the hook point is pointing. So you're just gonna go through, give yourself about 20 centimeters to work with. I place my finger next to the actual hook, and I wrap it around five, six times. So it's as simple as this. One, two, three, four, five, okay, five times there. It's called a centurion knot. If you know how to tie a centurion knot, it's exactly the same principle. So here we go. Take the tag end, and we're gonna stick it through the back where the snell is, through there, open it up. And you just hold it ever so gently, and you'll feel as you pull it slowly, you see how the figure of eights are starting to form there. There we go. There's the knot. Pull tight. That's it. That's the knot that I use 90% of the time, guys. Cut off the tag end. Snell complete. Okay, guys, very simply, I'm gonna do a snell. Um, using wire. Anything from 90 pound down works very, very well with this particular knot. So what we're gonna do is we work from the bottom of the eye. We're gonna take our tag in and stick the wire in. And again, all I'm gonna do is just a figure of eight or a centurion knot around it. So here we go, one, two, three times around. Take the tag in, back through the back of it, like so. And all we do is we open up that figure of eight. There we go, you see it's starting to kick over. Kick over, kick over, kick over. There we go, there's the figure of eight for me. I'm gonna keep a bit of resistance on this side by using my mouth. So here we go. Lubricate it and pull tight. There we go. Now all I do now is just slide that knot down to the eye, pull it tight, and there's my figure of eight, or my centurion knot, around the actual hook. 
cut off the tag end, and there we go. That's it all done. Easy, with wire. I'm now going to show you how to tie a snell knot on thicker wire. This is 200 pound uh, red blood wire onto a big hook. For this, we require a vise and a lighter. All we do, again, is measure off whatever length of wire we want. Uh, let's just make it 40 centimeters or so. Okay, so there's a piece of wire. All we're gonna do is take it, hold it down next to the actual hook with your fingers, tightly, and that's the important part. You must hold it tightly. We're then gonna take this part of it and start at the back of the eye and work our way down. So here we go. Keep tension on the wire at all times. So we just wrap it around the eye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. We then take the end of the wire and go down through the top of the eye, all the way down. Okay, so there we go. That's what it looks like. I'm just gonna put it in the vise and pull it tight. Stick it in the vise, pull tight. Another little trick, very simply, is to take a lighter. And what we do with the lighter is we lightly melt the wire. And there we go. As soon as you see the wire actually starting to just melt, pull the knot tight, take your fingers. There we go, simple as that. Okay, so there we go. All I've done is lightly melted the wire there. Take my side cutters. Cut the wire. And there is the snell complete. The reason we melt the wire is if we left it with very heavy wire, it actually undoes itself. It's got a lot of memory in it. By melting the plastic coating ever so slightly, the wire doesn't come apart. There we go, guys. There's wire, 200 pound, onto a hook. Ideal for shark fishing.